Hello guys, it's Simon from Blue Moose Digital and welcome to the channel. If it's your first time here, thank you for tuning in. If you're back uh, for a second or a third time, I really appreciate your ongoing support. It's good to see you again. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about how to make an email address clickable in WordPress. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. <music> Okay, so how to make an email address clickable in WordPress? Why would you want to do it? Well, simply put, if you've, for example, got a contact page with your contact details on the page and one of the things that you want people to do is to email you uh, so that you can obviously talk to them about your products or services, you want to make that as easy as possible for the, for the viewer to do. And if you've got an email address and they have to copy it and then go to a different app and paste it in, it's not exactly difficult, but if you've got a clickable link, then all that the viewer needs to do is to tap on the email address that will automatically open up uh, your their preferred uh, email program and you know straight away your the email to you is started and they can just type their message. What you really want to do is to make sure when it comes to getting people to contact you that it's as easy as possible for them to do. So this is a great simple way of helping someone to get in touch with you with as little in their way as possible. So without further ado, let's get straight into having a look at how to make an e email address clickable. And the good news is that it's a really straightforward and easy thing to do and I'm gonna show you that now. Okay, so here we are in my WordPress dashboard. Let's get straight to having a look at how to make an email address clickable. What we've got here is just a simple test site that I've prepared and a contact page with an email address here, which at the moment you can see is not clickable because when I hover over it, there is no uh, cursor that, there that allows me to click. So we need to change that and the way that we do that is to go to the WordPress dashboard we go to pages all pages and what I'm looking for is the contact page so I'm going to click on edit and because I've got a Mac I'm going to click on command as well because then that allows me to open up the the editor for that page in a different tab and then that just allows me I just like doing it that way it just allows me to flick between tabs it just speeds things up so here we've got the email address in question and what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to click on it and I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to click on this link and what I can do here now it's actually done it for me which uh, is something that's really useful to know actually but let's um let's do it from scratch and what i'm going to do is i'm going to paste in the email address but at the beginning of the url i'm going to type in the word mail to and then a colon and then i'm going to hit submit and that is all you need to do to make an email address clickable it's to type in the word mail to and a colon and the email address no spaces no capital letters and that is it and then what we're going to do is we're going to hit up the update button in the top right hand corner we're going to go to the page itself and we're going to refresh it and there you can see that that link has come up with a different color I've got the little hand icon over it which means if I was to click on it it would then initiate my email program and obviously as I hover over it the color changes but that is literally all there is to adding a clickable link to an email address and I really recommend you that that's what you do to any email address you put on your site just makes it an awful lot easier for your reader to contact you there's nothing standing in their way they don't have to c 
copy the email address off a page then go to a different app then paste it in I know that's not difficult but this just makes it so much easier so that's it that's all I wanted to say I hope you found this video useful and if you have I really appreciate a thumbs up it helps the algorithms to get these videos shown to more people and if you'd like to see more content like this it would be great if you would subscribe as well if you've got any questions then don't hesitate to leave a question in the comments below in the description I will leave my social media links so it would be great to connect with with you guys as well so do check me out on Instagram LinkedIn and I've also got a Facebook page and a Facebook group as well so do follow those links and thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers for now.